This video compilation shows as to how to recognize posterior capsule rend so that timely intervention results in a better outcome. Also shown would be the management modalities once the posterior capsule rent has occurred. In this case during phacoemulsification there was sudden deepening of anterior chamber and then it was found that there was PCR. So sudden deepening of chamber is a sign of PCR. This case is showing how the increased chattering is a sign of PCR. Here we can see increased chattering. And then after completing the phacoemulsification, the probe was removed. When the probe was removed and visco injected, we could see the posterior capsule rent. So increased chattering is a definitive sign of PCR. How can we prevent occurrence or extension of PCR? By using reflux. Here the PC was caught, reflux was used and thus the extension of PCR was prevented. So one has to use reflux to prevent occurrence or extension of posterior capsule rent. Here we can see a well defined rent. Another way to prevent the occurrence or extension of PCR is using spatula. Once you catch hold of posterior capsule at some point of time and reflux is not releasing it, then through the side port use some iris spatula or iris repository sort of uh, instrument and uh, release the caught posterior capsule from the probe. Once during nucleus management, posterior capsule rent is there, how to proceed? In this case, one can go for IOL scaffolding. So once you have recognized the PCR during nucleus management and a piece is still there, push the viscoelastic substance. Here we can see the posterior capsule rent and the nucleus piece is still there. Push high viscosity viscoelastic substance and here a three piece intraocular lens is being implanted in the sulcus. Now this IOL acts as a scaffold and after implanting IOL the remaining nuclear piece can be very well emulsified. Now once the posterior capsule rent is there, how to manage? Here the posterior capsule rent was seen during cortical aspiration. We can see the posterior capsule rent, but since the vitreous was not there in the anterior chamber, first the intraocular lens was implanted in the sulcus. Following this, localized anterior vitrectomy was done. And we can see a well centered IOL. Now, in this particular case, there was rent, and still we could implant. IOL in the bag. After doing rexis and hydro procedure, fake emulsification was done. It was a very soft cataract, and most probably during the fake emulsification, only the PC might have been touched by the probe. and we could see the posterior capsule rent.
a very careful cortical aspiration was done localized anterior vitrectomy in the area of posterior capsule rent was performed the remaining cortical matter was also removed and then intraocular lens was implanted in the bag as the posterior capsule rent was very much localized after implantation of the iol the viscoelastic substance was washed off and again the residual vitreous was removed now in this case posterior capsule rent occurred after intraocular lens implantation here we can see that after cortical wash the posterior capsule was intact intraocular lens was implanted in the back and when the viscoelastic substance was being washed off pcr was seen in the superior part so in this case one has to do again a localized vitrectomy anterior vitrectomy and we can see a well formed chamber and centered lens this case is showing secondary iol implantation in cases of posterior capsule rent under cover of fram cinolone anterior vitrectomy was done after doing thorough vitrectomy the incision was enlarged and the iris claw lens was retrofixated the clipping was done using sinski hook and thus this posterior capsule rent case was very well managed secondarily thank you